I've come up with an idea. I saw a bike the other day and it was the same colour as mine, but it had a black, completely bottom frame that went halfway across. I thought, that looks really cool. Can't remember what the bike was now. I thought it looked good. And then it got me thinking, instead of adding frame protect to it, maybe I could do a black wrap, completely custom look for this bottom half, because I've got the black line that comes across any way there. Follow it along, down, and I think it's gonna look okay. It looked cool on the bike I saw. I thought I'll have a go, because I'm a tinkerer. I can't leave anything alone. So I thought I'll get some wraps. So I bought some of this 3M wrap film, which is supposed to be good stuff, and uh, have a go. And it's either gonna turn out really good and look sick, or it's gonna turn out really bad and we'll all have a good laugh at the end of the video. First off, I'm gonna clean the frame with this intensive tar remover because this stuff just gets off anything. It's made for cars, but if you do wanna get some crap off your bike, this is good stuff. It's like alcoholic cleaner and because I'm gonna get alcohol cleaner besides from this brake cleaner, which I think is alcohol based, it smells it. So a mixture of that and tar remover is gonna completely clean the frame first. Probably look what I'm doing. Next step, I've got to measure the film. Now, I've gained the nickname, mainly from Nathan, Hamfist, because I tend to just, just do stuff. So I think the trick to this is gonna be mathematics, which isn't my strong point either. But if I measure it, somehow I put a ruler on it and a pen, I might get it right. The closest thing I can find to a ruler is a spirit level. I put one of these bright lights on it because that's what they're doing, car wrapping videos. Right from about there. Tape, that's what I need, tape. It's one of those how-to videos where you kind of learn as you go along as I learn as I go along. Because I can't be able to sit around and watch a YouTube video on how to do it. Obviously you can. Well done. Maybe if I fold it, that would be easier look. That's good. And that follows that line exactly then. Using the best form of mathematics, which is how they built the pyramids. Now, that should line up where we want. Yeah, that's about right, I'd say. About right. Technical term. I'm sure you can use water to like slide it around and then dry it off. We'll just whack it on. Get a bit of brake disc clean on it, make sure the extra grime and crap is gone so we've got no bubbles underneath. Because I've got this compartment under here where the battery tucks in. Kind of beneficial that I don't need to worry about that end so much because I can just slice that after I tuck it under. This 3M film's got an extra layer on I've noticed which protects it. But annoyingly since I've put the tape on it's pulling the extra layer off. Should I use this as a template for the other side first? Probably should. I've inverted it, drew the template on that side. And if I imagine that's the other side, that is going to work. Sweet. Right, now we can apply it. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. This stuff is meant to be like stretchy, so you can kind of mould it to where you need it to be, I think, once it's on. An applicator, I'm just gonna wrap around this so it doesn't scratch. And make sure we've got no bubbles in there. I have got a heat gun as well, which I might dig out in a minute. The joy of this stretchy film is it's made for bending around corners and stuff like that for like is it a vehicle. All I've got to do is cut the excess, leaving enough to fold over. I've got a craft knife, which is rusted to hell, but I think if I break it down further enough, there's some clean bits. Watch my eyes. When the battery cover's on then, that should really help this end stick on. I'm going to slice it down where the, the weld of the bike is, along the edge of the weld of things. Because there's already bubbles there, it should blend quite well into the black that's already there. Right, I think that's pretty much nice. Peel this out a layer off. That's come out pretty good. Time to do the other side, flip it and reverse it. Ding down, flip it and reverse it. Exactly the same process again in super speed. Side two done. Now I'm just gonna go around the edges and make sure all the little nit bits in here are tucked in and tight so they are water resistant. 
obviously if you are using a heat gun, make sure your battery's out before you do, because that might not end well. Time to have a look at the finished result. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty shocked myself with how good it's come out. I've managed to match the contour of the lines pretty perfectly, and that gloss black matches it exactly. Lining it up with the welds as well. I can't even tell where the join is. So I think the main thing I can put how well it's come down to is the quality of the vinyl. The vinyl I use is a 3M Rack Film Series 2080, which is recommended for cars, which is also good because it means it's gonna be fairly scratch resistant and stretched really well. The vinyl went on so easy. And it's come out an absolute treat this side as well. What I also did in the end was decided to use some of the extra pieces to fill in the blacks here, as you can see, because I realised it overlaps pretty well. I did it a little test to begin with. I realised it overlaps really well and then did an extra line around the weld at the bottom to fill in that area. The only downfall now is obviously you can't see the nuke proof graphic on the side, but there is a website, Slick Graphics, that do the complete custom nuke proof graphics in any colour or style. So I can always get one now, in whatever colour I want, to go down the side. All in all, I'm pretty damn happy with how it's come out. There we have it, complete custom look and frame protection as an added bonus. So let's just see how it fares now on the trails and hope it does come flapping off at some point. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe below and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trails.